Hello, everyone again. Hi. Hi. Who is it? Agus. Agus. Hi. How are you doing? Fine. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank All you. of you. Well, uh, we're going to practice part six right now. Um, and this, this is, I'm not going to talk about this because I already talked about this in class. I am just refreshing. To be able to do exercise six, that is one of the most difficult for many people, what we can do is this. Of course, I'll, along the year, what we can do is read a lot. So when we read a lot, we learn this without studying it. We acquire it without studying it. But of course, now we have six days, so we are not going to start reading a lot of books. We need to study or we need to, let's say, decode this in a different way. What is it that we need to remember? We need to remember that for the text to be a text, we need to have coherence and cohesion. We need to have it or we need to make it coherent, right? Uh, and that is what they do. They try to make you uh, notice and focus on the things that we do to make a text be a text, right? Not anything that you write and that are a lot of sentences is a text, right? A text should have a content. Remember this. It should have a content should be well formed it should have a structure it will it needs to hang together what does it hang together that the sentences flow that you don't feel that something is awkward with the communication right that is to hang together to hang together how do we acquire this hanging together by using references remember we talked about this we talked about for example well this we talked about logic also but remember that we had this text um, here. Remember we talked about this? We talk about, we do this naturally. So uh, we know what we're talking about. When we read the text, we need to try to find the connections, right? And we need to, if something doesn't sound or if something doesn't feel coherent, don't choose that sentence. Try to elaborate a bit more and try to realize tengo que darme cuenta what are the connections in the text right so i need to pay attention to little words like this or i need to pay attention to little words like here no here like the for example in fact or to begin with right or so or but if, if i have a but i have a contrary idea so we need to think about all these words when we put the uh, text together right remember this so we need to remember this today no this a text is self-contained it is well formed it has a structure it is cohesive making it is connected interconnected it is coherent logical Coherence has to do with logical. Remember, we talked about Mozart and he was born, he did this, he died. So think about that. Think about the coherence. Uh, well, a text should have a clear communicative purpose. We all know that. Uh, and also this. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I will find it. Or not. Here. Remember the kind of connectors that we, these are essential. So pay attention to all these words to realize how to put the text together. Okay? Now, I'm going to share the other document here, extra class. There you go. There you go. I'm going to erase this, so don't worry. There you go. Okay. I will divide you into three groups in pairs. I will give you 10 minutes only. And what you will have to do is put this together. Remember that I want you to tell me what is it that you took into account to get to that result. Okay? People, mm -hmm. is it? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. So now break a boom. 
and we uh, you are five. Okay, you are going to have two rooms. Whatever it will assign automatically. So the groups are Agus, Juli, M, and Nico, and Juli, Christos, and Mika. Okay. Yeah. Remember exactly ten minutes. So it's ten eighteen. Uh, open the room. Very good. I will share to the group. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hello, everyone. Ah. Are we all here? Hi. Hi. Yes. Very yes. good. That's so good. Excellent. Yes, because as you, I cannot see your faces. I don't know if you're here or not. Um. We're going to go with part two now. There you go. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Why is it that we are doing this kind of exercise? Um, we are here. We're going to mix some exercises that are very similar to the test. And we're going to also going to work with this kind of exercise in which you have a focus on some words. Why is it that I want you to do these exercises and you will see some others? Because I think that sometimes you do know the word, but you don't imagine it is the word that you have to, it's like you don't think about the word as an option. For example, in, in the, not in the exam that you did last week, because I haven't corrected yet, but in the other one, what I noticed is that sometimes is a no is a word that you know well. I don't know if, if it's happened to you that you realize when you saw the correction. But you have a word, for example, like where or like myself, and you don't realize it is a word. So that's why we are doing these exercises for all of you to try and remember what are the possibilities, right? The possibilities are a lot, but the possibilities are not generally verbs. We can have one or two verbs, but uh, most of the cases are auxiliaries, quantifiers, articles, uh, prepositions, right? Not just main verbs. Um, but what I noticed is that you didn't realize. You, you write, for example, the one that was where in the previous uh, exercise, in the previous test, many people didn't know what was it. And where is part of a relative clause. It's very simple, right? We say, okay, the place where I met my best friend. Yes? A country where you can see, a place where you can do, I don't know why you didn't realize, but, well, you didn't, or many of you didn't. So that's why we're doing this kind of exercise, right? Okay, five minutes and we correct. You have to insert, of course, all these for you just to know, um, because it's good to know what kind of word. It's good to know about language for us to have more possibilities. So we know that what is a, what kind of word is a. Think about this, articles, um, determiners. Remember everything before the, the noun, lo vimos. Um, quantifiers, when they speak about quantity, um we have pronouns here. We have uh, demonstratives. But well, do it. Do it and we check in a minute. Yes? Yes. Okay. I, I will report. I, I am recording, so it's okay.
Okay. Finish. Very good. Thank you for telling me. What about the rest? I finished like a minute ago. Very good. Yeah, me too. Very good. Should we all go? Essential question. Now that we are studying and we are trying to learn and remember all the words, what is very, very good to remember? the words. What are you doing in your copy books right now? What is it that we have to write? What is it that we have to... How do we remember this? Mm, Writing. The whole sentence. Yeah, but is it, is it okay if I write... Okay, one to eight. The... No, no. How, how can I make ah, this useful? Oh, yes. Um, writing the whole sentence, like to the make whole, sense. Is it the whole sentence, or maybe no? No, I mean the the part with using the phrase or very the good. Using. The mm -hmm. part, yes, yes. Of course, if you want to write the complete phrase, it's okay. No, no. But I think that remember that we need to. It's like we need to take the chunk. We need to take the portion that is useful. So we have to say, okay, is it, maybe it can be from the preposition. Maybe it is a preposition and a noun. Maybe it is just the complete phrase. But we need to write down not only one word. One word is useless. Because then when I pick up my, my, my notes, I don't know why I put that. Okay, so we need to write that. What is that we need? We need to see, okay, from an early age. Ah, oh, the phrase is from an early age. Yes, from an early, well, I told you the first one. The phrase is from an early age. What any other phrase can we know that could be exactly the same? Since he was a minutes. child, I know. No, no, but the same structure. We can uh -huh. we can modify one word and have another phrase. From an early age. From an... Mm. How do we say the opposite? From an el er elderly. Oh, oh, great, but it's not the word. Very know. good, you are right. It is from an old age. Okay. Right? So that we have two phrases there. From an early age, from an old age. All right? Very good. Phrase number two, what is it? Uh, every opportunity. Exactly, very good. You have two things to do with this. First, you can. you need to remember that you take the opportunity, yes? So start here. You take the opportunity and you can say, okay, you take every opportunity, right? You take every opportunity. That is what you need to, it's not you have, it's not you make, it's not you grab, it is you take opportunity. Okay, number three. Um, all of which you want. Very cool. 
what what should I highlight? Um, the of which he won. Very good. I, All of I, which. All of which. You can say this is very guess... useful. For example, you can say, okay, all my, okay, I have two hundred books, all of which are only English or Spanish. All of which, yes, from this big amount, are right. Okay, number four. And those training sessions. Very good, very good. In this case, the those is coming from what we have before, right? We say, this perfect record attracted a lot of attention he started working with a coach from something that he said before, right? Okay, those training sessions paid off and Michael paid off. You have like a good consequence, yes? Like he, the profit. He success, yes. Exactly, that. very good. Okay, those training sessions. Okay, what about five? Few believed. Few. Very good. Few believed. Very good. Here, it's not linking. In this case, it's just meaning, right? Why meaning? Because we have the however, which is a contrary idea. So now we have we need to have a negative, sort of negative, right? However, few believe that he could continue. In this case, few, what is few in this case? Like a small amount of people that believe exactly. in Exactly. It is all the phrase. You can say few people, but in this case, this is a resource, it's un recurso literario, in which we they took they just say few to replace the complete noun. The complete subject. Few is the subject of the sentence, right? Okay. So in this case, few was not a quantifier. It was a pronoun. All right. What about six? Um, so much. much school. Work. Very good. School. Because with work, we say much. Yes. Because remember, it is uncountable. School work. Okay. Number seven. Winning international. Very yeah. good. Easy. Yes. Something that is like the one of a kind. And number eight. No. Yes. Number eight. That was. Very good. That was what and that was what motivated. What is that referencing to? Winning the, the, the national championship. Uh, yes. Very good. Like winning and the national championship. Winning the national championship. Very good people. Uh, well, do, did you all correct? Yes. No. Very good. Yes. There you go. Well, excellent. Now, real practice. We have this running a marathon. That is the topic. And the first word is no. All right, no. There you go. Good luck. Here we have no. I think we can even say the phrase is there is no doubt. Yes, it is something I would say. Okay.
I finish. Okay, what about the rest? I finished, but I put I'm putting like the whole sentence, like the whole uh, phrase. Okay. In each place. I'm changing the color. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, people, can we go? Yes. Ah, I forgot number eight. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, to put what is it that it is linking to, right? Yellow, yellow. Um... The phrase is like this. Okay. Okay, there is no doubt. We wrote that. There is no doubt. Number one. Uh, at least of three months. Of course, at least three months, at least two weeks, at least whatever. We know at least. Very good. We cannot have it. It is a prepositional phrase and we cannot have it with any other preposition with that meaning. All right? Okay. What about number two? You should get used to hmm. Very good, excellent. Get used to doing. Please remember that after the get used to or the be used to, we need to use ing. So get used to running, all right? Very good. Number three, the chance. Miss? Yes. Be used to. Está mal decir. You should be I used think, to. I don't think it is wrong. Let me think. No, absolutely not. It's perfect. No problems with the meaning. No. The same. It's not the same. Of course, you know that B is that you have the acquire the habit and get if you are adapting, but in this case, yeah. it's okay. Okay. What about uh, number three? Uh, the chances of. Very good. So in this case, it's a dependent preposition. You always say the chances of. And then remember, we say a verb with ing. What about number four? It is, it is generally taught. Very good. It, the generally is here because they added more information. Yes, yes, but yes. the phrase that you need to remember is that it is, taught, it is taught. Right? That is this impersonal passive voice. What about number five? A piece of cake. To allow you to. Yes. Very good. In this case, it's a verb pattern. Right? Okay. What about, well, we go, we're going to go first with six and then we talk about seven. Six is? A phrase run, run out. A phrase of run we of. know. Run out of. Excellent. And what is it, who can tell me, why is it that in number seven, I chose a different color and I underlined a previous sentence? It is inversion. No, it's not inversion. No, personally. Because. Ah, yes. But, yes, ah. it is inversion. Very good. I didn't even realize that. But I didn't think about it. But I want, I was thinking about the meaning. Because you are saying first a, a mistake. You shouldn't a, commit before a 
the mm -hmm. race and then you're saying another thing that you feel very good do. another thing and you as i would say we used inversion we are adding like more meaning for this to this so what is the phrase mm, neither beautiful yes but neither should you lovely perfect people very good so we have the these two negative ideas you cannot do this and neither do this. All right. Number eight. It is a complete phrase and we can use it as a connector. Um, I would if you do. Uh, no. As you do. No. Whatever you do. Whatever you do. Absolutely. Whatever you do. Very good, yes? Very good, people. Okay, one more. Let me try to erase this. Oh, yes, very good. There you go. This is very simple. And again, remember what I said before. I want you to do this kind of exercise because I want you to pay attention to the possibilities that we have. Oh when we are doing this all right well yes well you know choose the correct option Finish. Very good. Me too. Me too. Okay. The diet. Which? Very good. Which I'm on. You are on the diet. Remember the preposition. It's quite boring, to be honest. My fitness trainer is someone. Who? 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 Everyone likes and trusts. That's the gym. Where? Where? Yeah. The nutritionist. Who's? Whose ideas? Very good. Whose ideas? I'm interested in because they belong to the nutritionist. It's like saying the nutritionist at two sentence but uh, construction would have been the nutritionist uh, has just published a new book. His ideas I'm interested in. Whatever. There aren't many days when, when I don't go jogging in the park. By the time I was 12, there weren't many sports which, which I hadn't tried. The stadium in, in which in, yes, which. very good. In which if we say in which we can replay where Think about this. The stadium where I train once a week is in the north. You know that you can replace any um, any relative uh, pronoun with which and something else and the preposition. Uh, like adding something to which to change the meaning. Like. Yes, yes, 
or mm. we, we modify the meaning of which and we can use which, which is very flexible. So the last one, people don't understand what? what? Very good. I have to do to maintain this level of fitness, right? Be careful. I don't know if you have noticed. We use who to speak about a person, who to speak about the possession of a person, which to speak about an object, a place, many other things, where to speak about a place, when to speak about time. And we use what. Think every time you use think about this think about this what are you doing generally we use what to reflect to refer to an activity yes or to a complete idea not just one item an idea it is a bit more complex when you use what 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 are you thinking about you're not going to say book what are you thinking about book no you are going to say an idea so think about that when you use what Okay. Yes. Whom? Para qué lo usas? Whom is to? I will write it here, as we have. Yes. Okay. Whom is? First of all, we need to know that it is very, not very, but very formal, maybe, very formal, and old English. Not old because it's not that we don't use it anymore, but it is maybe old-fashioned. Yes, and now I will explain. Don't worry. Um, we when we talk about who, we are talking about the subject of the sentence. The subject is the person that is before before the verb. We know that, don't we? People, are we here? Yes, yes. Very yes, good. Yes. Uh, before the verb. Very good. And we are going to use whom to speak about the object of the sentence. Yes, the object is a person, whom should be a person, right? After the verb. Yeah, I don't know if anyone is a, a French fan, apart from Mika. Um, yes, I do. Oh, okay. So, do you, do you remember Ross correcting people when they use who instead of whom? Because, you know, yes. he speaks really properly English. Yes. Right? He, he, he is a doctor. So, uh, in this car, in the construction of his character, they put this uh, situation. Because nowadays, many people use who instead of whom. And sometimes, it is really wrong, right? Let's try, I will give you examples, right? Imagine you say, you say um, oh, I don't know, it's me. I say, okay, I talk to my husband and I say, I am, um, sorry, I say, make silence, like this, make silence, because I am talking to the, I don't know, manager, yeah? And my husband couldn't get the last part, right? In the sentence, I am talking to the manager, yeah? Who is the subject? Which is the subject? Um, Kari. Kari, very good, yes. In this case, I. Well, yes. Yeah? There you go. Give me just a sec. There. I say, make silence because I am talking to the... La letra que dormi. I am talking to the manager. The, in the phrase, we have here two ideas. Make silence, that is imperative. Make silence. We have a connector because we have two ideas in this statement. I am talking to the manager. In this clause, I am talking to the manager. We have a subject and we have an object. Which is the subject? I. I, I. which is the object. The object is the person. Manager. The manager. Imagine that my husband couldn't listen to me correctly because he was listening to something on the mobile phone, right? So he would say, because... To whom? Exactly. Very good. Right? To whom? 
Yes? Nowadays, we have two options. If we don't speak proper English, we would say, uh, to who? Which is absolutely incorrect. But uh, what people do, not, they, they don't use to whom a lot, but they reformulate that question. So we say, who are you talking to? Right? So it, it is okay to say, we can say to who, or we can say, who are you talking to? And who are you talking to is okay. Because it's perfectly okay, right? But uh, if you want to be correct, when you refer to the object, you need to say whom, right? For example, uh, there is a phrase that we use in formal letters when we want to address the person. Cuando queremos eh, escribirle a alguien que no sabemos quién es, we can say this, to whom it may concern. Yes, a quien le corresponda, right? In that case, we also use whom. If you see it in a letter, it's like this. All right? Mm -hmm. Am I clear now? Yes. Very good. And for example, you can say, imagine you are doing a speech, a eulogy. You know, eulogy is the speech that you do when people die. Yes, I don't know the name in Spanish, but in English is eulogy. Uh, so you say, for example, um, you can say, the person to whom I to whom I owe all my uh, I don't know uh, strength. I'm just trying to say strength, right? Uh, the person to whom it's a very complex way of saying I owe him something. Yes? Yeah? Do you understand? Yes. Very good. Excellent. Well, very good people. One more. Give me just a sec. I will erase everything. There you go. Okay, here we are. Okay, this is more difficult. Here we have connectors, right? We have conjunctions. This phrase is a word that put two ideas together. Okay? What we need to take into account to be able to do this correctly is not only the meaning, because they have different meanings, right? For example, as long as is conditioned although it's contrast as well as is comparing and adding despite its contrast again in order to its purpose owing to its reason therefore it's adding no concluding and whereas is a comparison all right okay do it five minutes Remember the structures.
Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Very good. Yes. Oh, excellent. Before. Okay, number one, condition. As long as. Very good. Excellent. Number two, contrast. Although, although. Always, very always. good. Although, listen, it's although, though, though, it's so soft. Number three is, uh, sorry, 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 it's adding. As well as. as well as. Very good. Number four is perfect. In order to. In order, in order, to, order to, to. Remember that in order to is a fancy way of saying to. You can say, you want to take notes uh, during, no. And Mike decided to get a summer job in France to improve his French. And it's okay, but in order to, it's a fancy way of saying it. Number five is contrast. Uh, despite. despite. Very good. Number six is... Owing to. Owing to. Reason. Very good. Number seven is... Therefore. Therefore. Very good. And what is this? The what of the first. The second is the the what of the first. It's the consequence or not. Um, yes? Okay, and what is the word? You said it, right? And I don't remember. Hello, everyone. Incident. Is what? Incident or relate. I didn't get what you're saying. Incident or relate. Incident, my darling, sorry. Ah, we okay. said it, therefore. Therefore, okay. okay, very good. And the last one is comparison. Whereas. 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 Very good. Remember, whereas is to compare to people doing different things or to action. Right? Okay. Sometimes it could be the same person. Okay. Real time. Well, you have the first at this weather. And finish. Very good.
Okay, can we start? Yes. People, come on. Are you all ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very yes. good. Great. Great, great, great. No, I, not everyone said yes. I, okay. So it doesn't matter whether you are still at school or in full-time employment, making the effort to learn new things is very important. Most of us have a few subjects on... Which? Which? Very good. We focus. Why is it that we have this on? Because it is we focus on some subjects. Remember that is the dependent preposition of focus. Okay. This may be associated with two. With, with our study or job or sometimes a hobby. Number three. Although. Oh my okay. God. Although, of course, we have we can have though, for example, right? Uh, though it is obviously important to develop a deep under, but both are correct, a deep understanding of a, sorry, of what what matters to us most, very good, it is equally worthwhile to extend our range of knowledge beyond what we are familiar with. And that is true at any, very good, any age. So the best advice is to find the time to Impact. Take on new challenges and learn new skills outside the areas where we feel most comfortable. People often choose subjects such. Very good when we enumerate, we say such, such as, such as new languages, computer skills, or painting. If you can't get to, cl to a class, then you can go online. Online courses can easily be. Be. Very good. Found and learning online means you put in as much time as you want each day. Very good, people. I will say goodbye now, but I will tell you what. In the evening, no, in the afternoon, actually, at five o'clock, I will have a, I will stop recording.